Okay, so I'm going to talk through the zero linking now to Deer inventory. So the first thing you'll need to know, although if we've been doing a project, then this will already be done, is from integration and then zero, you need to check that you've got zero linked. So if you see options such as this, then that means zero is linked. If you see nothing except for your connection is not authorized, then you'll need to sync, uh, or sorry, link zero. That's something that generally we would advise that we do, as there's a few different things to be aware of around mapping and things like that. Now you've also got some options up in settings and then general settings. There's also some options that flow through here. Oh, sorry, settings and then reference books, my mistake. Um, there's some options that flow through around chart of accounts, account mapping and so on. Again, we should have set these up for you and if we've done a project then we will have done. So with those then there, you'll see there's a zero sync option just down in the bottom right, just next to my cursor here. So if I hover over that, then you'll see anything that needs syncing. And I've left some here that have failed in order to show what to do if something has failed. So at any point I can hit sync now, or I can click on what requires sync to have a look at it, or I can click at what has failed. So if I go here to contacts, I'll just go and have a look here and see what has failed. I would imagine it's to do with names or similar. So, um, so most of these ones here have failed because of account code differences. Um, and so we've linked this to the demo company. So this basically means that we don't have something in our chart of accounts. Um, and you can also see here these um, customers have failed because there's no valid email address. So hopefully you shouldn't see these if the settings have all been done right. What should happen is when you hover over, just go sync now. That will then start everything syncing to zero. You shouldn't have to log in or anything. I will here though, just because I'm linked to a demo company and it's been changed. So here, if I go demo company, authorize, it will then link to zero and you'll start to see a range of things push through. So here at the top, we see starting sync, then tax rules, zero customers, then it will probably say zero suppliers, invoices, manual journals, and so on. Now at any point here, you can see what's been synced. So you can see all these items have all already been sent through and you can view them within zero as well. So this will take a couple of minutes to send through, uh, but I'll leave it to do it for the moment and just talk about some other areas. So at any point you can see here, there's a text to search. So if for some reason you can't find a particular account or similar within your system, then you can always look in here and try and see has it failed and or why. That said, as I mentioned before, if something has failed, it should be fairly obvious in here and it shouldn't happen ongoing. So now you can see the invoices have been exported and it's now gone to cost of goods sold. And that will continue through and export out the rest of the information. So hopefully then you'll start to see that everything here that's pending turns to completed. As I said, you may get some failures, but that's as simple as the zero sync is. There's not really too much else to be aware of. Obviously we can help and support um, if you so choose, if there are queries, if something fails. But other than that, you really just need to know that this information is all gonna sync through uh, one at a time from invoices, cost of goods sold and similar. Now you can see a whole load of failures here because we're just using a demo account, but you can also see here all of these completed. Here, it's just the manual journals and the purchases because we've got a demo system that we're using. Once that's done, you can just go back to the dashboard. I tend to just click on the image at the top and then just continue working through as normal. So we would suggest that you're syncing probably at the end of each day, but that's a business decision to make.